Hi, everybody. I'm Argo Plump. Are you sure this is the right way, Sam? I think we're lost. Wow, this this opening has nothing to do with the actual game. It's Sam? kind of amazing. Where are you? Yeah, we don't know who those characters are. They never appear. In Living Legends, The Red Trace, I'm going to be playing through the bonus game in this video and the next one. So it takes place uh, several years after the main game. Uh, we're going to be playing as Ruby now. Um, she's a mom. She has a little girl. She's not a bride. Now, now she is a parent. And it looks like we skipped over the potty training years. So that that's probably good for her. It is wonderful that despite everything, our family is finally together and united. What's that sound? It's coming from Margaret's room. Margaret? Sweetheart, are you alright? What is this pup doing here? What happened here? Where's my daughter? Maybe she was frightened and hid somewhere. I need to find her. There are two things which I find funny. Uh, like, number one, they say it's a few years later. Margaret, no. She, she's more like eight years old. It's probably more like eight to ten years. And also, uh, Ruby's like, oh, there's a pup. It's like, that's a wolf. There's a wolf in your kid's room. And your reaction is, ah, oh, it's just a little baby wolf. I'm like, what? What? I, I would be so freaked out if I saw a wolf in my kid's room. I, I would not care how old the wolf is. Now, Granny lives in the forest. Poor Granny. Margaret's been drawing pictures of wolves? Really? Why? Hmm. And it looks like we're going to have a puzzle opening up her dresser drawer. Uh, we are going to take a look underneath her bed. Ah, uh, but I can't grab that quite yet. Uh, her teddy bear? Oh, it's from Dad. Dad's not here right now. Roland says he's gone on a trip and he'll be back. Yeah, like, Margaret is old enough to read messages from her dad. Clearly, this has not been just a, a few years of parenthood. Alrighty, so you need to rotate the outer ring to match the inner ring. It's actually a pretty easy puzzle. We need to uh, pick the lock because we don't know where the key is. And I think finally we're going to take a look at this. We need to open the wardrobe using a spoon because it's locked. Alright. So, let's get to puzzle solving. My umbrella is going to get these items, which is... They're, they're too far away. They're under the bed. Uh, these these things go on the door. Drawer handles. Okay, so this moon handles gives me a shooting star handle, which gives me two items. Thread and a hairpin. The hairpin will pick the lock. bird stole a super cool item. Well, that's not good, but if I give the bird a cookie, it will drop the spoon. Oh, no. It fell underneath. I, I can't reach down there. Oh, no. So let's use the needle and thread to fix the doll. Margaret's doll. So cute. Great, great. So I'm going to use a magnet to get the spoon. And then I'll use a spoon. To Margaret's open not up here. here. Perhaps her diary can give me some answers. So what's in her diary? I read that lycanthropy is a condition where somebody turns into a wolf. Uh, the wolf transition happens during the full moon. There's remedies that could uh, stop you from becoming a wolf based on herbs and magic, but I don't know if I can avoid the wolf affliction. So, uh, can Margaret turn into a wolf? Did she inherit wolf powers from her dad? Because that would be bad. Anyway, easy hidden objects challenge. Uh, the four things we need to find are wolves. One, two, three, four. Oh no, so grandmother was right. Margaret really did inherit Blaze's wolf curse. I turned into a wolf in my dream. I didn't tell mom, I didn't want to worry her. Grandma says, Ruby, Blaze is a carrier of the wolf curse. You were saved by uh, Marion's amulet. If the curse was passed to Margaret, the symptoms will develop soon. Sharp teeth, fur. Maybe I'm panicking, 
but I'm searching for a potion that could stop the transformation. Granny, you really should have told me this face to face instead of hiding this note inside my daughter's diary. Okay, well, harder hidden objects challenge this time. Drink, fur, amulet, and sharp, sharp knife. And here's a picture of Granny's new home. Grandmother always knows what to do. I'll go to her right away and keep looking for Margaret. Oh yeah, yeah. Better look for our missing daughter. She might have been attacked by wolves. After a while. What's happening? There's Granny. After a while, we reach Granny's house. Ruby, dear, what brought you to the forest in the middle of the night? What? Margaret is missing? Oh no, how could this happen? Margaret turned into a wolf? The poor girl. I'll try to lift the curse, but the forest spirits took the basket of herbs I need for the potion. Catching them with a special net should help you find the missing basket. In the meantime, I need to review my notes and find the locating spell we need to find Margaret. Our most important task is preparing the potion to lift the curse from Margaret. But the forest spirits stole the basket of herbs I need. You'll need a special magical net to catch them. So, find the net first, and then search for the spirits. Okay, is it just me, or did she repeat herself twice? Um, twice she said the forest spirits stole the basket, and we need a net to catch them. Those mischievous forest spirits have really made a mess around here. Mean forest spirits. So we're gonna help Granny here. We're gonna find, uh, the net, catch those magic spirits. Well, she creates a magical spell, which will find Margaret. Alrighty, so what do we have here? Spirits are mischievous beings. This is what they look like. They don't mean to be nasty. Okay, I need, I need something to dig up this flint, because obviously I can't grab it and pull it from the ground. That would be silly. Use the feather duster over here. Go away, Mr. Spider. Yeah, that gets rid of the spider. Uh, I think we're going to come back here later. Cut these when we get a knife. Okay, I just got a trowel. I will use the trowel to dig here. Oh, I see. There was a rock blocking the way. Nope, that was not a rock. That's part of the flint. Well, then I don't know what was stopping me from just grabbing that item. Uh, over here, I learned from a trail guide that termites are afraid of light. Okay, I didn't know that. The lantern needs fuel. And we need to break this bark using that rock. Oh, those are the termites. So, obviously we're going to light this and get rid of the termites. Hmm. Alright, am I using the tongs? Okay, no, I'm grabbing this stuff. And then I'm going to start the lantern. Great, so now I have sleeping powder and a lantern. And granny, uh, Granny will come back eventually. So let's take a look at this. Ah, oh, that's right. Okay, sleeping powder. We're going to use that on a snake. I hadn't seen the snake yet. <laughs> uh, and then we use the tongs to get these apples. I thought we were going to use the tongs to move the snake. But no, we'll ju we're just going to leave the snake there. That'll be a nice surprise for Granny. Uh, we're going to use the apples on the slingshot to get this down from the tree. I don't know what it is or how it got in the tree. Maybe it's Granny's. Maybe it's not. Oh, no. It fell down inside a hidden objects challenge. Let's find everything here. Uh, that medallion is missing a chain. Here's the chain. Berries, mushroom, chamomile, um, dragonfly. There's the snail. Look at this. Lycanthropy is dangerous, yes. And there's a handprint. Yeah, it is very dangerous if you can turn into a wolf and attack people. That does not sound like fun times. A glove. Four leaf clover. Dragonfly. This net is missing a part. Let's see if I can find the part that's missing. You know, I'm going to use a hint. There's the totem pole. Oh, and these are the parts that are missing. One, two, three, four, five. Nice of the game to highlight them for me. I 
gives us the magic net. So, can I use it to catch this uh, wood spirit? Oh, it's in the backyard. Let's go to the backyard, catch a spirit. Yeah, Granny's still not back yet. I don't know what's taking Granny forever. Oh no, they hid in the tree stump. So now we have puzzles opening up the tree stump. I'm gonna catch those rascals. It is dark here, but I've got my lantern. And we have bees, so we need to get rid of the bees by starting a little fire, I believe. Uh, this frog, um, this frog is missing an eye. I uh, hear we're going to get some water later on when, when we need water. I managed to grow these unique red flowers Ah, the forest spirits love these red flowers. So that's where we'll put the red flowers as bait. And, oh, it's a squirrel. Okay, so the squirrel wants something in exchange for those red flowers. So let's see, I'm going to open this up and put the grass inside. Then I'll make some smoke, get rid of the bees. We need to find four red berries. Wow, that's a really easy hidden objects challenge. You're not even hidden. Uh, we're going to put the four berries over there. I mean, we're going to use them on the squirrel in exchange for the red flowers, which we're going to use on those mischievous forest spirits. Okay, got to catch them. Got to catch them. So with this puzzle, you want to move these things around. You want a net to be over every single spirit like this. And we have four variations of this puzzle. Let's see. That. The final one is kind of tough. I think you do it if it's a backward C. Got it. Gotcha. Well, go on then. Catch up with your friends. I'm just going to take grandmother's basket. Oh, that's nice. We let it go. And don't steal granny's basket again, okay? Good, so now that we have the basket, we, we should be able to uh, go inside Granny's house. Granny? Okay, she opened the door. That's nice of her. But uh, I don't think she's finished. She, she is still uh, doing her research, it looks like. Thank you for bringing my basket back. I think the amulet you inherited from your mother might help Margaret, but I'm not sure how yet. I'll keep looking into it and let you know. I did learn how to cast a tracking spell, but we don't have much time. While I prepare the tracking spell, you can make the potion to lift the curse. Everything you need is in my house. Also, for the potion, you'll need druidic water. It was somewhere around here, but perhaps the forest spirits hid it. Search the house and the yard. I'm sure you can do it. Here's the recipe and the herbs. All right, all right. It's complicated. We have to find a bunch of stuff. Oh, oh well. Let's see. We're going to solve this puzzle with her books. We want to get all these books in the proper order. So there's a picture of a wolf. Great. That gives us some items. Here's a way to cure lycanthropy. Use uh, the right herbs and the druidic water. Okay, just confirming what Granny said and solving that puzzle. Uh, this is where we're going to have to use the water, but we've got a bucket. You want to grab the bucket there. That's important. We'll fill it with water. Uh, solving the bookshelf puzzle opens up the hidden objects challenge in the basement. We need to find four items that hold water like that. Uh, a pitcher definitely holds water. A cup definitely holds water. And a wine bottle holds water. This one's broken, though, so we're going to have to fix it. Now, figurines of living creatures. Uh, we, we have a butterfly. We have a donkey. I need to find the wing for that bird. Oh, here's the wing. And then a frog. 
four magical gems. One, two, three. Where is number four? Is it hidden by a puzzle? It is. Okay, you use the key over here to find the fourth one. And we got one of those magical gems, an amethyst. And it looks like we're going to have to open up uh, Granny's trunk there. All right. Going back over here, we're going to fill this bucket with water. We are going to put the amethyst into place, giving us the key. Anything else here, hint button? Anything here, hint button? Nope, hint button says we're free to go back inside and keep solving puzzles. So water is going to go there, and key is going to go here. This amulet has the power to save its owner from lycanthropy. It only works once, but its power can be awakened through strong emotions, uh, sincerity, and self-sacrifice. Alrighty, yeah, my magic amulet was awesome. So healing recipe, we need to put the weights down. We need to fill the flask before we can put it down. Game won't accept it. Otherwise, herbs here. Don't think we can put anything else down. Uh, hint says we're going to be lighting the fire. That's nice, but we still need the druidic water. Alright, so where are we going now? We're going back to the garden. Let's see. What is here in the garden? Yes, now that we have a knife, we can cut this. Knight gives us another little rascal. What? Oh, there it What's is. What's it holding in its hands? That's another hidden object challenge. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Yeah, okay, so we need to find all these items. Oh. Uh, like in the main game, when I held my mouse at the bottom of the screen, it'd say what these items are, but not here in the bonus game. That seems kind of a shame. I mean, okay, I can find these items based on outline, but still, I would like to know exactly what I'm looking for. Oh, there's a pepper. Yeah, like, this is a big block. I don't know what that is. Um, that rune is not carved. Give me a knife so I can finish carving it. Oh, it's a rune. What do you know? Uh, owl head goes on the owl body. That could be a walking stick. Could be one of those tools, like a file. Uh, wolf statue, broom, and a scroll. Excellent, we found the juridic water. Oh, that was just the juridic water just handed to us. Nice, okay, we're gonna use it here. Now we're gonna fill the flask with druidic water. Well done. You got the druid's water. If you'd need anything else to complete the potion, feel free to check my cellar. Thanks, Granny. She doesn't seem mad at all that we broke into her cellar. That's nice. Okay, so uh, pears, we have a, a vial and a vial. Uh, we're gonna try to match these two things, right? Those are both the uh, pestles and uh, we, we needed them for the puzzle. So we are putting the feather here. We need to find a bunch of feathers, like four of them. Maybe just three. I still don't see any feathers. Okay, let me clean off this crystal ball so I can match crystal ball with crystal ball. And book and book. Oh, there's another feather. Okay, so now we have uh, three feathers. So it's dream catcher, dream catcher. Yeah, that, that one dream catcher had more feathers than the other. And then here we want to match uh, basket and basket. Good, we did find the pestle. Uh, we're gonna put it in the mortar. And now we should be fantastic. So druidic water plus normal water equals purple stuff. Now we need to grind up these herbs and get seven R of them. Okay, so let's, let's put the pestle in place, grind up the herbs. See, we'll put seven here. Four plus two plus one is seven. Put 
Enough herbs to equal seven. There we go. We put it inside the potion. And there we go. Is this the, the cure for lycanthropy, Granny? Is that it? I'm afraid Marion's amulet, the one that once protected you from the curse, has lost its power. No. I found a legend stating that it can only be recharged using strong and pure emotions. But there's no record of anyone succeeding. Well, th then where does the legend come from if nobody can do it? Did you manage to make the potion? Excellent. It should work to cure Margaret. But remember, the cure for lycanthropy is only effective when used during the first transformation under the light of the full moon. I've prepared a tracking spell. Now I just need something of Margaret's to find the way to her. But it is very nice. So we, we've got two possible ways to cure Margaret from lycanthropy. One, using the magical amulet. Seems like that's tough, because nobody's been able to do it. Uh, number two, using this healing potion, which we've got right here. So yeah, even if the potion doesn't work, we do have an emergency backup. Margaret's favorite toy. I'm sure this will help. This light is the tracking spell. Just follow the light. It will stay near you until you find Margaret. Find Margaret as quickly as possible. Remember, she can only be cured tonight. Oh man, only tonight? Then I guess we have to wait another month for a new full moon before we can try again. 